What's up, y'all? So how to make the crispiest southern fried chicken with Flight Reacts. I love Flight Reacts, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. And by the time he back over here doing a video or two, that's my guy. But, uh, yeah, we about, we about to get into Flight making this chicken. I hope it's good. Let's get into it. Hurry up. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell, yeah, league? So, uh, I already read the title. Let me get to the damn video. Let's get it. Oh, not muted. So fresh, so... Let me know, and we'll do... What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up! Shut Look at Flight Chef reacts. Hey, man. All right, so I know y'all see the title, and we're going to dive straight on to it. Now, if you mess with these types of uh, cricket tutorials, my first ever one, you know what I'm saying? Let me know, and we'll do shall more in the future. <laughs> All right, so we'll as do shall more saying, in the future. Let me know, and we'll do shall more in the future. <laughs> All right, so as you see from the title, man, we the got time. Southern Fried Chicken now. If you don't know what you're doing with this recipe, just step out the kitchen. And this is exactly why, if you don't know what you're doing, you clicked on this video, bro. Because you won't ever have to have that moment, bro. But you can't just be doing any and everything when it comes to making fried chicken, bro. Because you can go zero to 100 cancel real quick, bro, if you do not know what you're doing. All right, so you know what, man? Duck reacts, Chef reacts. Is whipping up a little some some tonight, man, on this beautiful Saturday, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's cooking time in this thing, man. So I'm gonna show y'all the quick ingredients that y'all need to make this so fresh, so clean, clean southern fried chicken. And as I go through the video, you're gonna see me have uh, actually hands on, you know what I'm saying? Focus on to it, and I'll, you know, gradually tell y'all, like, you know what I'm saying, the exact size and stuff like that. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Water. You know what I'm saying? At least half a bottle, half a cup, you know what I'm saying? Like, what but, chicken is that? You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Water. You know what I'm saying? At least half. Chicken thigh, 520-949. A bottle, half Massacre. a cup, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to call your chicken, uh, of course. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Get some glacier bags because we're actually going to need to do for this chicken before we start <laughs> anything. We don't need to put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to two hours, or you can do it overnight if you're not pressed for time. You know what Why I'm saying? Why the hell we you doing that? You don't need your pickle juice. You know what I'm saying? Pickle you need juice. at least uh, half a cup of uh, pickle juice. Um, I'm frying flight chicken tonight. Uh, you know. Views and shit. <laughs> Buttermilk and here's your seasoning. So fresh, so clean, clean seasoned oh, paprika. Go, pepper, you know what I'm saying? Rica. This really gets the job done. You know what I'm that saying? Creole kick you know, off. black pepper. You know what I'm saying? The salt. You know what I'm saying? The onion. So right now, I'm actually. What a garlic! Where the hell the garlic at? <laughs> you cannot have onion powder without garlic. Come on, flight. Come on, bro. I'm going to take my chicken and uh, wash it off and then pat it down with the paper towel and everything like that and then put everything in the bag. I'm going to put it up close it to my hand so you guys see what I'm doing in just a second. All right, y'all, now, so, like, it seems like it's just, like, you wash it off and then then it's that's and that. But I didn't want to leave out, you know, all the juicy details, man. Cause what's the point of a tutorial and everything like that? So like this yeah. is the thing that I'd see growing up, you know what I'm saying? His sink is clean. Come on, flight. And whether watching like my grandma or my dad oh. cooking fried chicken oh. and everything like that, man. Oh. So like if you see like this like really pale looking part of the meat, this is like called the fat, you know what I'm saying? Why don't y'all add some more years onto your life, you know what I'm saying? Rip that thing off, you know what I'm saying? Now, you can actually keep this on and everything like that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not, it's actually uh, like really, really good, but it's also really, really unhealthy and everything. It's not gonna take away no- The most unhealthy shit in the world. However, the tastiest shit in the world. No type of flavor, but ripping off that fat man, you just going, you know what I'm saying, knock off a couple of health problems in a couple of years, you feel me? Or, you know what I'm saying, you also add on a couple more years onto your life, man. So I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to do that. Uh, well, I'm, I'm in the throne. This is all trash, by the way, the fat. We're not using this cooking. I'm gonna throw it out, and, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's easier actually to rip the fat off and get into it once you start washing chicken out. You can have your, your water on medium hot, you know what I'm saying, something like that. You know, now you don't wanna just go all like, did you say had that water on medium hot? <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying, no. ripping the meat out and everything like that, pause. You feel me? You just get up under there, you know what I'm saying, rip it right out, you know what I'm saying? This is all fat, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you can keep it on, it's optional for you, but if you choose to, you know what I'm saying, uh, stay out the doctor's office and, you know what I'm saying, have, um, 
more years added on to your life, you feel me? This is just a little routine you can do, you know what I'm saying, to, you know what I'm saying, help you guys with that, you know what I'm saying? So as I'm doing this, bro, you know what I'm saying, getting up under there, washing it out, make sure that they have, you know what I'm saying, the factory stuff, pesticides, you know, not, not pesticide, but, um, you know what I'm saying, like insects and all that stuff. Uh -huh. So that is actually my last chicken that I had just did. All right, okay. y'all, now for the final touch before I put it in the, uh, uh, Ziploc bag okay. and everything so it can be a little bit, uh... Not we uh, wiping that damn... <laughs> not we wiping that chicken out with a paper towel. Refrigerated and everything to give it that, you know, moist flavor um. with everything. You're gonna pat it down, you know what I'm saying, with this, uh... This paper towel and everything, mm. you know what I'm saying? Just to, you know, get, just that? take every, you know, little bits of water out, you know what I'm saying? What just pat doing? it down, you're it's not going to fully dry it, obviously. It's going to be in some water, but you know what I'm saying? You want to do that? Like that was just extra work for no reason at all. Back to the chicken, you know what I'm saying? Pat it down, all right? And now the final part. So these ingredients, all you're going to need is your water, your buttermilk, and your pickle juice. Now the pickle juice, you want a half cup at least. Took two of these, mm -hmm. about uh, one and a half, two of these. So this is about a half cup of pickle juice. Yeah, All right, so I'm gonna actually double bag. It's so fresh, it's so clean, clean. Um, I ain't gonna lie, him using Ziploc bags is great because I would have used grocery bags. Saying uh, chicken that we about to put in the refrigerator for uh, 30 minutes, or you can put it up to two hours, or you can do it overnight if you're not, you know, pressed for time. Right. Back so every, if you have your own preference of dish that you use that's comfortable, you can use it, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you know, copy the exact dish that I have and everything. This is just what I had, you know, given the time, all right? So we got a half thing of, you know what I'm saying, our so fresh, so clean, clean pickle juice. Right, right here, you're gonna go ahead and dump that in the bag right there, you know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, this is going in the same exact glacier bag, so if you mix the water with the pickle juice first or the pickle juice with the water, it does not matter. Oh, you want a half a cup, cup of that so fresh, so clean, clean water. You know what I'm saying? You got to go the smart way. You know what I'm saying? Or you can go the Fiji way. You know what I'm saying? Make it healthy, healthy, right. healthy. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And with the buttermilk, make sure you shake it up. Make sure you shake it up. Okay. All right? Now, this is the first time I'm actually using this type of buttermilk. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was looking, I was looking for the knob and everything like that. All right, so with the buttermilk, you don't need a measuring cup necessarily. You just want to kind of get like half the bag or like, you know what I'm saying, a good amount. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, where it's like, it's, it's on top of the chicken, like the chicken's drowning inside of the buttermilk pretty much. Right. You don't want to put like a little itty bit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my buttermilk right up in that thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta get like halfway, like I said. Um, you know what I'm saying? You probably don't have to get the bag and you know what I'm saying? You know, that's perfect right there. Okay. I actually poured a perfect amount. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, when it's double bagged, it's not gonna look like, you know what I'm saying, what the uh, the full is. Make sure y'all double bag it, man, because I don't be trusting these bags at certain times and everything like that. And now, after you massage that chicken in there, you know what I'm saying, go ahead with the bag that's underneath everything. Um, I want you to go ahead and zip it up a little bit halfway, but leave some air in it, because you don't, like I said, want to suffocate the chicken. Okay. It's already, you know what I'm saying, passed away. You know what I'm saying? You don't what gotta up, keep queen? on beating it up, doing strangling it. It didn't do nothing to you, bro. Relax, all right? So just leave a little bit. Pickle juice brines the chicken. What's brine? What's brine? What's that? Or oh, browns? Of a hole so it can breathe. You know what I'm saying? And then zip up the actual thing the entire way, especially if you're overnighting this and everything like that, man. Make sure the top is zipped up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't get spoiled. Right. And the bag should look like this puffy if I go like this. All right, fight. I wouldn't say equivalent to the flour, but like half a tablespoon of be right back. One hour later. Now you put about uh, a tablespoon of onion powder, tablespoon, tablespoon of paprika. Tablespoon my ass. And I want to say like honestly almost, I wouldn't say equivalent to the flour, but like half and half because um. you want to be able to taste it. You know what I'm saying? Don't smother, but at the same time, don't be afraid to go in with the seasoning right here. You know what I'm saying? And the seasonings that you want to put last is the salt. After well, you're gonna... flight, if you want to live a little longer, you need to use pink salt because that iodine salt kills us. Iodine kills us. So yeah. See me whisk it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You watch use that off, Himalaya. Do it wash off one more time and everything like that. Um, you're gonna actually put your salt and pepper uh, last. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and whisk it up. You know what I'm saying? Get yeah, make sure your flour is tasting. Usually you put stuff like this in the bowl and everything. It's okay if you don't have a bowl and doing a little ghetto way. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we got over here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the season mixed up. If your season is consistency looking like this, you see that right there? You see how it's like kind of brownish? 
That's what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the little fun. I use season salt. Uh, and I use garlic salt. But um, I don't be using... I don't even use the Himalayan salt for like to season. Don't change. touch, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get, you know. Well, just... I already see what his seasons are, and he ain't giving, he ain't doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> okay. Put it over here, then we're gonna transfer to the vegetable oil and then start to whipping it up, all right? So take the chicken, you know what I'm saying, from the buttermilk. Don't be shy with it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna use this hand, my left hand, you know what I'm saying, to massage everything in there. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it's nice and, you know, sturdy, secure so nothing falls over, you know what I'm saying? All right, oh, I don't want to do that. You don't want to splash chicken powder or uh, vegetable stuff And there. You also want to let the milk and the chicken and stuff, you know what I'm saying, drip down for a second, you know what I'm saying? And stuff. You, know, you make a mess a little bit, it's okay. You know what happens. Now I'm All only right. able to fit four. All right, Flight, I know how to flower chicken. Right. Get your tongs, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the vegetable no. oil is cooked the way you can tell the vegetable hey. oil is ready to be fried is when it starts simmering up top a little bit. You can hear it sparkle and glistle. He was supposed to be using that pan over there. Filled up with Earl and put that chicken in there. All right, y'all. So the amount of vegetable oil that you put in, you want to cover about like half the pan. You know what I'm saying? Not too much where it's going to start dripping out the side depending on how big your pan is. And the vegetable oil, you're going to have it heat up to 350 if you're going to use it. Y'all, use a pot. Temperature, but do no. Now, make sure you right, have a see. shirt on when you're doing this well, stuff. Okay, well, it's covering majority of it. I didn't think that it would. But I'm just saying, he could have put oil in the pot. You know, don't be afraid to also turn down the stove, y'all. It's already hot when you put it on. Put it to around. I need like, some more oil, too. I'll put it to like four or five. somebody just said, that's too much oil. That ain't enough. Area, just he's, supposed to, he's supposed to put that shit in that pot over there. I, I mean, first of all, this is chicken. He do what he want, but I'm just what I would have done was put the earl in that pot over there. Fit as many chickens as you can, but make sure you have space for the breed. I'm gonna probably be able to fit four on here. You fuck around, start right, a pot so with, with, with the pig. Oh, no. I got a whole pot like to use. That. I'm gonna use the pot. I'm gonna go ahead and also, you know, take a little bit of that breading, take a little bit of that mix, put it on top. Don't be afraid to. You know what I'm saying? Take some more season stuff, put it on top. Extra. Give it that little final little, you know, taste. Just adding a bunch of dirt in my oil. With, you know, the style with the drip with the sauce. You know what I'm saying? No, flight. No. You reach the temperature of one. Saying. It's done. Now, like I said, you only want to flip the chicken one time. Thank you, friend. Um, because okay, air fry me, baby. But you're going to end up messing with that crust. You don't want to mess with crust too much where it's falling over it's looking you know um loose you want it all to be kept together you know what i'm saying Gent be gentle with it take your time it's not a race flip it over you know what i'm saying you can raise the heat back up i put it back to around six now you know so i got it into a subtle nice little cool temperature and now i'm putting it back up to high so it can continue to sizzle and get that you know what i'm saying that flavor right, right. I okay, let me see what it's like when you see it. right there that golden crispy crust. 21 minutes. You don't even need 21 minutes if you had to put it in that damn pot. But maybe it's because his rice is in that pot. And knowing niggas, he probably got two pots. That's exactly what you want to look for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Take good. your time while you're doing this. There's no rush. I'm going to put these two chickens to these Take the fumble. time while you're doing this. No rush. Chicken. <laughs> One thing you want to do in life, you don't ever want to fumble the chicken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ow, ow, ow. You know what I'm saying? Be careful. Make sure you get that drip of the tongue. Don't be like Duck React. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna that let shit it look good as hell. Bit. I ain't gonna lie. Put it on my clean cutting board. Take this last delicious looking piece. Put it on this clean cutting board. And as you guys see, the Ooh. final temperature of the chicken on a thermometer oh, should. Oh, he make sure that chicken done. Okay. 165. It is literally right smack dead at that 165, maybe 164 mark. But you know what I'm saying? Just mind you too, when you take it off that um, the uh, the fryer or skillet, whatever you want to call it, the chicken's gonna be still cooking for another minute, two minutes, and everything. So you know what I'm saying? All look good. Oh, I want to see him So fresh, it. so clean, clean fried chicken. I got it on my cutting board right now. You can't eat fried chicken without honey. If you don't have honey while you're eating fried chicken, or at least ranch or some type of sauce, Come on, man. just stay far away from me, bro. You're the ones, y'all, we didn't really be watching out for. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? 
I ain't never heard of the honey. Hold on. Okay. And I'm a little pressed, like I said. Bite, I gotta though. go swirl with that honey dip. Huh? But not the chicken. I thought that was for the biscuit. No, I didn't Oh, okay. Mm. Oh. He made that thing look good, didn't he, y'all? <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my he God. go acting like flight. <laughs> oh, fuck. Damn, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video, man. This shit right here is crap, bro. It look good. I ain't going to lie. This shit right here is crap. Hold on. One oh, more that's by. a little pink flight. I don't know. Pink. I can't do that Hold pink on. flight. Oh, I like that pink. One more good bite, bro. And that shit is hot. Exactly how you want it. Like I said, that spicy, not spicy, but that seasoning, that trio kick, you taste all of that in through the chicken, the black peppers, the salt. Flight, you ain't tasting shit on that chicken but the honey. I ain't gonna lie. And he ain't put no season on that bit. He ain't tasting shit, but the but the honey and and the uh the buttermilk. You know what I'm saying? Frying with the buttermilk. That's all. Oh my gosh, man! Hey, the price just went up. No, the price like, literally. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna lie. That crust. <laughs> he wanted to speak about crust. He did that on that crust, baby. That crust was flawless. But that chicken had got a little pink up in that flat. Yeah, got a little pink up in there. I hate pink chicken. I can't do I can't eat it. I can't eat it. Okay? Can't do that. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna cook flight's chicken probably tomorrow. I was gassing it. It's nine o'clock. I'm gonna cook flight chicken tomorrow. Probably gonna give me some noodles or another hot dog tonight. But anyway, done with this video, man. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.